Hello everyone and welcome to day two of Pneumatic Week and today we're going to be having a look at a Henry but no ordinary Henry, oh no. This is Henry's big brother, Henry Wet and Dry. So apart from doing all the things that regular Henry can do, Henry Wet and Dry of course, by his name he can pick up wet liquids. So if you have a spillage, your washing machine overflows, or you want to clear up after a messy DIY job, you can grab Henry wet and dry with his bigger motor and larger capacity. Okay, without any further ado, let's open up Henry wet and dry and take a look at all the accessories he comes with. As far as I know, Henry Wet and Dry is exclusive to Argos stores in the UK and basically he's the same as the pneumatic Charles. So let's get him open. This one's glued down rather than taped. Oh, they've used a lot of strong glue today. There we are. But they've also used tape as well. <laughs> I'll just have to rip it, I'm afraid. I haven't got my knife to hand. Okay then, what have we here? Well, first out of the box is the filter and that's for dry use only. Then we have the instruction book. So this is model HWD370. I won't open them at the moment, but this is the three small standard tools you get supplied with virtually all the pneumatic cleaners. It's the same tool set you get with the Heti cleaner, the same small tool set if you remember the Heti cleaner I showed you yesterday. We also get a hose and unlike some of the standard Heti and Henry's this has a regular hose. It's not got the conical hose it's just a regular diameter hose all the way through but it's a nice long length. Here's a difference, the carpet and floor nozzle is more like the old style Henry carpet and floor nozzle and you can see it's got a metal base plate, litter pickers for picking up pet hair, a more difficult litter and when you want to use it on hard floors you flip the pedal and a brush comes around nearly the full circumference of the nozzle. Now this hard floor nozzle is for dry pickup only. If you pick up wet with it you're liable to find rust appearing on the metal base plate. So for carpets and hard floors you use this nozzle. If you want to pick up areas of wet, if, for example your kitchen floors flooded, this is a nozzle you will want. This is a squeegee nozzle and as you can see it's got two wheels and a squeegee either side. So basically if your washing machine overflows or if a radiator springs a leak and it's on a hard floor this is the nozzle you'd grab to remove all the water or whatever it's spilt uh, very quickly. Now you can pick up most liquids with Henry wet and dry as long as they're not flammable liquids. So there we go that's the squeegee nozzle different set of tools as regarding the wands and handle. These are the lighter weight tools. So this is the handle and you get of course two extension wands. Now with this one we get one, two, three, four by the looks of it spare dust bags. And of course these are the HEPA flow bags and they're model NVM2BH to be or not to be. There we go. There should be one fitted or well, actually saying that there might not be one fitted. I'll soon find out but there's certainly four bags there. And here we have, I was going to say Charles, <laughs> Here we have Henry wet and dry out of the box. Yeah, put the box to one side and have a look at him. So yes, he is very similar to a Charles. Now I have got a Charles, but it's an earlier version. 
it doesn't have this plastic handle at the, on the bucket, which is a later addition. So let's have a closer look at Henry Wet and Dry. You'll get an idea of the size difference between Henry Wet and Dry and a Hetty or Henry Compact. Here's Hetty Compact, the Hetty 160, and you can see she's considerably shorter and considerably smaller than Henry Wet and Dry. So Henry Wet and Dry, in my opinion, is more suitable for use in rougher environments. You can use it as a garage vac, clean out your car, use it in your workshop. But for domestic use, and you only want it mainly for domestic use, I suggest you look at one of the more compact pneumatics, unless, of course, you need the wet pickup facility. This Henry Wet and Dry has a 1000 watt motor, which is higher than the 620 watts that a regular Henry or Hetty cleaner has. But it'll be interesting to see how much suction power this has got because I've got my suction gauge. The yellow Hetty I tested yesterday measured 80 on the suction gauge with a 620 watt motor. So it'll be interesting to see if this is any powerful considering it's got a higher wattage. Now, unlike the standard Henry or Hetty, we don't have the cord storage. We don't have the facility to wind the cord. We've got a fixed handle at the top. And the cord basically goes on this hook at the back of the cleaner. So basically, once you've finished using Henry Wet and Dry, you coil up the cord and you pop it there out of the way. We'll just take the motor unit off. And you'll see that we've got a single speed on off switch and this one's actually covered in this protective casing so if you've got wet hands that'll stop any moisture getting into the switch and it does say on the back here it is a 1000 watt motor underneath a little bit different styling with the old motor there now here's another difference because this is a wet and dry cleaner we have this float valve so basically when you're picking up liquids you always must ensure that this float valve is in place it's also got a mesh screen which you can clean under running water just to stop any larger particles from getting into the motor but underneath the mesh if we pull it off we can see a little float valve so basically as you're picking up liquids with Henry wet and dry, this float valve will raise with the water level and then eventually it blocks off the suction here. You'll notice a change in tone of the motor and that's your cue to switch off the Henry wet and dry and to empty the water into a drain or wherever, toilet or sink, depending what you're cleaning. So that's the float valve, only for wet pickup, as I said, not for dry. Just pop the mesh filter back over, make sure it's in place, like so. And this is the recovery bucket, so all the debris goes in there. And we do have a handle now, which makes it a little bit easier to carry to wherever you're going to empty. And then you can just tip out the machine when you're holding the handle. Now this one, you've got storage for four tools on the back instead of the normal two on a smaller pneumatic cleaner, but you've also got the parking slot. So we can park the large cleaning tools. For example, the standard carpet and floor nozzle. That parks there. You can also park the hard floor squeegee nozzle as well and then you can put the small tools. But I think it will also hold, if you want to, when you're storing it away, it'll also hold the wands. So there's that. Now to use Henry Wet and Dry for dry pickup, we need to insert a bag and the filter. To use Henry Wet and Dry in dry mode, you always need to use a bag and the filter. Now from my Charles video, there was a bit of controversy to which way these bags go in. Now in the instruction book, it shows the bag going in with the print uppermost. Now, some people say that's wrong, but it will go either way. 
I mean, I can't see much of a difference. With the print uppermost, I suppose, though, the bag goes in like this. Now you just push the bag onto that black piece there. So if we do it the way it shows in the instruction book, the bag sits like that and obviously will fill up as you pick up dirt. If we flip it the other way, that does look like the other way, it does look better somehow. Well, I don't think it's any different really. Um, <laughs> doesn't really make it clear in the instruction book which way up, but as long as the bag is fitted correctly here, make sure you've push, pushed the red collar firmly on the black support tube. I don't really think it's going to matter too much. Once the bag's in place, then we can fit the filter like so. And to secure the motor unit, we just need to push the clips in at either side. And Henry wet and dry is ready for use. Okay, we'll plug him in and see how noisy he is. Definitely noisier than a standard Henry or Hetty. But then so is the Henry Wash and the Pneumatic George, which is a similar shape to this, but the Pneumatic George also has the shampooing function. If you want a machine with wet pickup and shampooing function, then of course there's the Henry Wash, but Henry Wash doesn't come with any of the dry tools. It's a wet only cleaner, unless of course you purchase the bag filter and a dry set of tools, which you can do if you want to. But Henry Wet and Dry is specifically for picking up wet and dry messes. So while I've got the hose attached, I'll find, if I can find it, there it is. I'll find my suction gauge. So if you remember from yesterday's yellow Hetty video, we got a measurement of 80 on the suction gauge with a 620 watt motor. So let's see what Henry Wet and Dry can do with a 1000 watt motor. Well, it seemed to peak around 96 compared to 80 of a standard Hetty or Henry cleaner. So yes, the 1000 watt motor does have a bit more suction power but then we need it for the bigger, messier jobs that we expect from the Henry wet and dry. Okay, it's time to see how Henry wet and dry copes with dry mess. I've had to put my shoes on because I've put down so much muck. You won't be able to see the original color or colors of this rug until hopefully Henry cleans it up. And this is a textured rug as well. So we've got uh, different heights of pile. There's a load of mess on this. I'm wondering whether I've made a mistake. Okay, let's see if the Henry Wet and Dry can clean this mess up.
Okay, so we've seen Henry wet and dry deal with dry mess. Let's see how well Henry can cope with some wet mess, but we have to make a couple of adjustments before we use Henry wet and dry for picking up liquids. First of all, we need to remove the motor unit, the dry filter, and of course the bag with everything I've picked up. So I'll try and remove it without spilling too much dirt because this is very full. So uh, out comes the bag full of muck. And then we need to fit the float valve complete with the mesh filter just on top of Henry's recovery bucket. And finally, we need to replace the motor unit back on the top like so, line it up, secure the catches and we're ready to go. Right. Henry Wet and Dry has a dry capacity of 15 litres and a wet capacity of 9 litres. So let's see how fast Henry Wet and Dry can pick up water. So I've got a bucket here containing about 6 litres of water and uh, Henry looks quite thirsty so let's give him a drink. Well, Henry Wet and Dry had no trouble sucking up that water, but we need to empty him now. So just remove the motor unit. And then of course the float valve. Now incidentally, if I was to carry on cleaning, if I'd put more than six litres of water in that bucket, the float valve would have stopped Henry from sucking up any more water. So it's got a good fail safe. And actually, if we have a look, Inside the recovery tank, we can see that the water's pretty dirty. So that's all the dirt that was actually inside the hose after I'd done that dry demonstration. So sucking water through the hose is a good way of giving it the occasional clean. The additional handle fitted to the recovery bucket enables me to lift it easily and empty it down the sink, drain or loo. Henry Wet and Dry can be used to clean up liquid spillages around the home. For example, if your washing machine develops a leak or a radiator decides to start leaking all over your carpet, you can use Henry Wet and Dry to help deal with the initial mess. So I'm just going to show you Henry Wet and Dry just cleaning up water from my kitchen floor using the supplied squeegee nozzle. So I'm just going to tip a little bit of water on the floor. We'll see how dry Henry Wet and Dry leaves the floor after vacuuming up the water. <laughs> Using the squeegee nozzle, the floor is left almost dry. It's not bone dry, but <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see this hardly anything, just a few drips of moisture, but really the floor would be dry in about two minutes using the squeegee nozzle. Here's another use for Henry Wet and Dry. Most washing machines have a pump filter located behind a round or square door at the bottom of the machine and you really should check these filters from time to time to make sure they're not clogged up with bits of fluff. But often when you open the filter water pours out and you have to try and put a tray or catch the water with lots of towels. 
but with a wet and dry vacuum such as the Henry wet and dry I can use it to suck up the water that's going to come out of the washing machine because all washing machines will hold on to water inside the drum this is also useful if you need to open your washing machine if you've had a power cut the door won't open and you need to get the clothes out you need to empty the water out first so with this one I believe as soon as I lower this spout water will start pouring out so I'm going to be ready yes it's starting to come now let's switch on Henry and suck up the water <laughs> So now I can remove the pump filter, but I've still got Henry wet and dry on hand in case any more water spills out. There's a little bit of water dripping out of there. And well, a little bit of fluff on that, but uh, that's fine. But inside there's a bit of gunge and muck, so I can actually use Henry wet and dry to clean that out. <coughs> So with my pump filter nice and clean, I can place it back into the washing machine and screw it up. And that's another job done with no mess. Demonstrating vacuum cleaners certainly works up an appetite. So I'm doing myself a nice big bucket of creamy porridge. And I think, I know it's a bit odd, but I like it in porridge. I've got a tin of spaghetti. So I'm going to pour that in. Mmm, oh, that looks lovely. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to get this down, mate. Absolutely delicious. Now, I'm just going to see what else I can add to this for my cupboards, but that is looking absolutely delicious. I'm sure you'll agree. Well, that looks good, but I need a bit of a pick me up. So, how about a nice mug of steaming? strong black coffee mmm oh that's much better now isn't it absolutely delicious so I'm going to cook that over a low heat for half an hour and that will be ready to eat absolutely truly scrumptious well that's nearly everything but I think I better add an egg to give it a bit more body yes there we are um, oh well, for a bit of extra calcium, pop the shell in as well, why not? And we stir it in like that. If you want the recipe for this, you'll find it absolutely nowhere apart from my warped mind. Oh, and there you can see the lovely egg combining there. Ah, oh, that smells absolutely delicious. So there you go, that's my... Oh. Oh crikey, that was, that was going to be my lunch. Oh dear me. Oh dear. Oh dear, that looks not quite as appetising as it did in the bucket, does it? In fact that, well we all know what that looks like folks, and it ain't pleasant. Oh, I'm going to have to get, what am I going to have to get? I'm going to have to get my bucket, my mop, some paper towels, and try and clean this mess up. Panic over folks, I've got some eco-friendly cleaner and plenty of kitchen rolls so I'll just pre-treat the stain a bit with the eco cleaner, that'll help dissolve all that muck won't it? And I'll just leave it for a few seconds and uh, oh two pieces of kitchen roll, yes go on, yes I think I'll be able to soak this all up, uh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Might need a bit more kitchen roll than this actually. Now all this is doing is just spreading it about, isn't it? What am I gonna do? Oh, there's the eggshell look, and the spaghetti, the coffee, and the, the rolled oats. And I know a lot of my regular viewers are thinking, he's finally gone, hasn't he? He's finally flipped. <laughs> yes, I have. 
Obviously, we can't clean up a mess like this with paper towels. In fact, we could add the paper towels to the mess, I suppose, but I'll put them to one side. What am I going to use, folks, to clean up this dirty protest? Well, we all know who's going to be cleaning this up. And he's still smiling. <laughs> Well, thanks to Henry Wet and Dry, we've got most of that mess up, but uh, it's going to leave a bit of a sticky residue. There is still some muck left, so I'm going to have to resort to the old fashioned bucket with some cleaning solution in it, just to make sure we've got everything. That was a very sticky moment we had, but I think all traces of my little accident will be removed very very soon so I'm just putting a bit of well a lot of floor cleaner down just saturating the area like this there we go and that smells nice as well nice lemon fresh rather than the rolled oats spaghetti and coffee smell that uh, <laughs> was permeating this kitchen so there we are I think we've got the most of it up haven't we yeah, that's it. I'll just pour a bit more on for good measure. And there we are. And we'll finish off by drying up this soapy solution using the Henry Wet and Dry. <laughs>
Well folks, it's safe to walk on the floor with just my socks because all that disgusting mess has been completely cleaned up with the help, of course, of Henry wet and dry behind me. Now then folks, before I show you the mess inside Henry wet and dry, I'd like to have a little word to any younger vacuum fans who happen to be watching. Please do not attempt to do this demo at home because I don't think your mummies and daddies would be very happy if they found a similar mess in their kitchen and if you do it they might not let you watch my videos anymore so please don't do it not even if you've got a Henry wet and dry or a Charles it's best just to leave that to the silly man on YouTube who decided to make a right mess of his kitchen floor for entertainment purposes only but of course it also shows you what this machine is capable of but now I've got quite a long job cleaning this machine out I'm going to rinse the hose out as well and obviously I've got to empty the mess so let's have a look I expect the mesh filter well that's actually <laughs> that isn't as horrific as I thought it would be I think applying the kitchen floor cleaner afterwards has helped to sort of rinse that through but that will be taken off and washed so not so bad and of course let's take the hose off again because I've sucked up some cleaning solution got a few drips here that isn't so bad so obviously that mess is going to have to be tipped down my loo rather than the sink because I'll only go and lock it up well, that's about the end of my unboxing and demonstration on the pneumatic Henry wet and dry vacuum cleaner. If you want to buy Henry wet and dry, you can get him from Argos stores or you can buy the identical Charles from many other retailers, including Curry's and Amazon. If you have any questions about Henry wet and dry, please ask them below. And don't forget to tune in same time, same place tomorrow for another pneumatic video during my special pneumatic week. And if you're watching this after pneumatic week, don't forget to check out my pneumatic vacuum cleaner playlist. So that's it for today. See you all tomorrow and thanks for watching.